Yo, what up, street gods? This is Eric Kim. All right, the thought. How to conquer fear. Um, how do we conquer fear? Why should we conquer fear, etc.? So, the first thought is, you know, don't you want to become all you can be or all that you can be? And what typically holds us back in life? I think it's fear. It's fear of failure, failure, disappointment, etc. And the funny thing with fear is it's all, you know, I think a lot of it is actually socialized nowadays where notions of success or whatever, it's not really based on any empirical values. Um, it's just more of a societal biases like people say you're successful or you're not successful is you a failure or you you know whatever and i think it's um a very important thing to consider because in life and in the real world um you know fear is the number one thing holding us back in terms of achieving our potential and i think for myself in life the only thing that makes me, you know, not so happy is the times when I want to attempt something and I don't because, you know, fear kind of got in the way. So, for example, in the context of street photography, you see something you wanted to photograph and you hesitate and you didn't photograph it because you're afraid of, you know, upsetting somebody or something. Now... I think, okay, so some, some thoughts to think. So first and foremost, know that we live in a pretty soft society now. We're like, you know, take a photo, just, you know, contact the street photographer, you take a photo somewhere, right? They're not going to nail you to the cross. You're not going to, you know, get crucified or whatever. Yet, I think still the, the fear uh, persists. So what are we to do about it? I mean, first and foremost, um, I think there's a fine line between the ethics of photography, street photography, and life, and then there's the actual physiological fear. So the physiological fear is um, something that could just be trained through, uh, you know, exposure therapy, right? Um, which means the thing that you like to do but you're afraid of, the more you put yourself into it into small doses, the more you'll actually conquer the fear. So, for example, like. Um, with height lifting, height lifting, or power lifting, or weight lifting, whatever. Let's say you want to attempt to lift a very, very heavy weight, and you've never attempted it before, and then you, you, you know, you man up, you hype yourself up, and you attempt it. You may either succeed or fail, and you fail, you find out it's actually not a big deal. And then moving forward, the fear of failure doesn't actually hold you back, but rather it actually ends up becoming more interesting because there is a fear of failure or a potentiality of failure. It actually um, gives you a little more chutzpah, a little bit more balls, a little bit more um, audacity to attempt what you consider the impossible. And also just a simple thought is, you know, doing stuff at the, lifting heavy weights to the gym. I feel like if one wants to conquer fear, truly, there needs to be a physical courage component that like, you can't just be like meditating and, you know, be like a super duper skin and bones and just weak and not have to you know, worry about fear. I think fear, it actually definitely um, has to do with the physiological component. You know, the buffer, more swole, the stronger you are, the more muscles you got. I think uh, the better and <laughs> why do people not like to think I think the reason why people don't like to think that is because um, the way we we see things and approach things is like um, in America at least we have the bias you know like a you know the immortal soul the soul that could exist without a body etc and then what that means then is the body is actually not important and not an integral part to fear conquering etc but actually 
the human body is the ultimate in terms of uh, conquering fear. Because you think about it, fear is a physiological component, which means anything that we feel in terms of fear is a physiological bodily phenomenon. And therefore, the, the bodily component is better. And, you know, the more, you know, I get my adrenaline up, my hype up, the more um, courageous I feel and the less fear I feel. Now, now the tricky thing then is, let's say you've finally conquered fear, um, you're like EK level, right? Then what do you do with your life then? Um, up to you, right? Like, what are what are the things that you want to do or attempt? Uh, what really matters to you? Um, for me, it's kind of a combination of blogging, vlogging, philosophizing, uh, coming out with interesting things and stuff like that, and to share these ideas with others, and you know, empower myself, but also empower other people, and to share information which I wish I personally had access to back in the day and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, go to the gym, start hype lifting, try to do the rack pulls, one rep maxes, um, do the squat walk or the squat hold where the, I might, I wonder if I'm the first person to have done this where I just, you know, attack the bar and I just, the only goal is, so, uh, so essentially, you know, this is the rack, right? Come on. Get under it and then you just try to stand up and then hold it and then drop it, right? And I'm like, I did it with six plates and a 25 the other day, and it, you know, I definitely felt it in my face and my, my bones. My 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 thought is, um, the squat might actually just be a, a weight bearing exercise, and maybe next time I'll try it with a six plates and a 35, and to see how, like, can I do seven plates? Can I even hold seven plates on my shoulders? I don't know, maybe, uh. It'll be a fun experiment. I, I certainly know that my legs are getting way more swollen and stuff like that. So um, build up your strength in the gym. Um, and also just like, you know, let's say you want to talk to pretty girls or pretty boys, whatever you're into, right? Just approach them and just say hello and just, you know, do small talk and stuff like that. Um, you know, make some jokes here and there and stuff like that. And... The more you get made fun of or the people give you the weird looks or whatever, the more that you'll actually conquer the, the social fear component either uh, as well. Even a, a pro tip I have was street photography and stuff like that, like the, the 10 no challenge. Just go bunch, to a bunch of strangers and just ask, you know, can I make a, may I make a portrait of you? You try to get 10 people who intentionally say no to you and then just see how you feel. Typically, that actually gives you a lot more courage. Seeking failure or seeking rejecting or seeking to look like a fool is also good. Or, you know, go to the gym, wear a crop top like me and just like yell really loud and hype yourself up and uh, look a fool. Don't be afraid to look a fool because the more you look a fool, the more courageous you'll become.